welcome to May 9th, 2008, the sixth day of the week, preparation day for the Sabbath. Well, brother, let's get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry. A light shining from above, day 130 of the year 2008. Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 19. I has not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them unto us by his Spirit. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9 through 10. After that you believe, you are sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance, until the redemption of the purpose, purchased possessions. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13 and 14. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. John chapter 20 and verse 29. Whom having not seen, you love, and whom, though now you see him not, yet believing, you rejoice with a joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. 1 Peter chapter 1. Verses 8 and 9. We walk in faith, not by sight. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. Cast not away therefore your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 35. Duties of the believer in the church. Mutual love. Walk in love as Christ also has loved us and hath given himself for us in an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling Savior. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 2. Among the saints on earth let mutual love be found. Heirs of the same inheritance with mutual blessings crowned. In God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Is a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. God is the knowledge. In him there is no ignorance at all. First John Chapter 1 and verse 5. Brethren, this is the sixth day of the week. Preparation day for the Sabbath. Brethren, if you're not following this seventh day Sabbath, but you call yourself a Christian, study your word. Find out through your own Bible when the Lord's Sabbath is. It'll tell you. Look it up. Believe it. Thomas had to be shown. But Christ said, Blessed are those who have not seen. So, brethren, look it up. Get down on your knees and repent for not doing the ways of the Lord. And if you truly want to do that in your heart, 
the Father and His Son will hear you. They will come in to you. And with that, brethren, we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.